Hi, friends of golfers. Eric Silver, EJS Golf Academy. Hope everyone is well tonight. I'm going to do a little uh, video here, talk a little bit about what I'm doing. So um, I'm making uh, some swing changes because many of you know I have not been able to um, practice much or do much with my golf game really over the last like 30 years. So I'm 51 and about 21. I had to pull out my aspirations to be as best golfer as I could. Um, I uh, back injuries. So <laughs> I'm five surgeries later on back surgeries. And I, I call it my miracle when I had in 2017. So I uh, had that in 17 and about a year and a half later. So we're close to 19. I was able to start playing again. Now, the problem is, is I haven't had a lot of time. Okay. So when I have gone, I've stuck with my old swing I had from 30 years ago. Now, did I have to work on a little bit for, you know, ball striking a little bit? Yes. And so I have a very old swing that you would see from a lot of people back then that has a lot of, um, let me grab my shoulder club to show it to you face on, stuff that needs to be changed, okay? And this is the reason, one of the reasons I'm going to make this change to show you guys because I'll post videos of me swinging that way so you can see the difference because my swing, this is the gist of it. I'm tired of saying do in my, in my lessons do as I say, not as I do. Okay. And I'm saying that a lot because I don't, I don't swing the way I'm teaching. Okay. Um, based on the fact is I don't have, I haven't had the time to practice and I haven't made the time. So now I'm making the time to make the changes. Okay. So my golf swing is a lot like what I hate. I, or I, um, come up here. I early extend. Okay. I get this big here. I get my hips way ahead. I get the club way behind and I'm a person who can swing like back here, like 14 and out hooks, big hooks. Okay. Um, when I, if I can play well, which I have at times with it, it's just timing with my face because I can get so in doubt. So, I mean, I'll just give you, I, I think I'll post some swings of mine uh, on this video so you can see it, but in general, it, it would be a swing that you'd see that would come for me. I roll, I'd be kind of like this. Let me show you. It'd be kind of like this. Which when you when I get to the top, you'll notice that, well, there's a lot of things, and I'm, I'm gonna break that down that later. Then I have this here where I kind of club and get way behind. I can get in my front foot enough, so I'm always coming in okay, in front of the ball, getting it okay, and then I just I have to snap it okay. So I hate that swing because it's just it's not reliable if unless, unless I have timing to practice and get you know, the right amount of draw because it's just too far inside out and there's not, it's not what I teach. I mean, I want a stable face coming through impact that's working more like from here. Let's say if we're at P, P6, we're here, it's working here, 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 like that. Okay. So um, that's what I'm going for. That's going to be the switch I'm making. So step one for me that I'm making, and this is, so those of you who watch my videos, you'll see it. I say a lot of my fundamentals of golf, and this is, I'm not discounting grip, alignment, posture, and all that stuff. Those all do matter, but I, I, I guess I'm basically saying those things are pretty decent on whoever golfer, okay? Then these are the fundamentals of my golf, okay? Number one is an efficient rotation of the body and a powerful rotation and repeatable, okay? That is number one on my list of fundamentals. Number two, I, I'll get into the others as we go along, as I move along this process for you guys to show it to you. I wanna show you guys this can be done, okay? And I'm, you guys are probably, oh wow, big, like you aren't even close to like some of us. Yes, my swing is. Uh, I can sh like, I'm gonna show you videos. My swing, I haven't done it in forever, okay? So I haven't practiced, I haven't had a chance. So I have a swing that's like 30 years old and that's how we learned back then. We threw our hips, we call it like this Ole move we're away like this and no one, no one talked about early extension back then. Okay. Nobody. And so it's just like this big hook. Okay. So I'm like, I'm 51. So I had learned before any launch monitor was out, uh, when I was playing at the top of my game, we're talking late eighties and the early nineties. So before any tech had come out. Okay. So there was a lot of this stuff you saw. Plus when I came out, it was a lot of balls. Um, so, you know, I grew up with wood, wooden, wooden, wooden heads for my drivers and stuff. I, not shafts. I didn't play hickory shafts, but um, might as well because I just got cut down clubs. You know, they were just so stiff and it was crazy. But you were lucky to get cut down clubs at that time. Okay, so one second here. Plug this in so we get some more light on this thing here. Okay, 
back with more light. Okay, so things I just hate about the swing is I ro I'll roll it like this. I get it up here, and then, you know, the hips go flying. The club gets way behind me, and I'll swing from something like here. You know, a lot of times I'll get this club like this. If I get it too close, then I am just snap hooking it. So a lot of times I have to leave it like this because I'm going here and like this. So it's just do as I say, not as I do. I'm tired of that. So I'm changing to show you it can be done. Um, and I'll show you videos just to show you where I'm at. Now, maybe do I have maybe an easier chance than, at doing it than somebody? I, I don't know. Maybe because I know what drills do, how to fix it. But here's what I, I'm, I, I will tell you this. We're all the same in the sense that we have to learn. I don't get to flipping magic switch because I understand the golf swing better. I understand, and this is what the biggest difference is between somebody who's done tens of thousands of lessons and somebody who reads a golf digest or a book and tells somebody to do this or do that. Matchups and understanding if I say do this or don't do that, or let's say I change somebody's, let's say I change, you know, basically just how they move off the ball a little bit. What is, what's the why of that? X, Y, what happens? There's always an effect, cause and effect. So I always hear these things people say out, oh, just do this. Well, what's the effect? What is gonna change if I make that one move? And does something else need to change because of that? Okay, so those are, those are the things you learn over time. Um, you need to learn anatomy, everybody's different. We move different. So prescribing one thing for everybody doesn't work. Okay, so do I have an advantage in that sense? I, yeah, but I, where I have, the big advantage is, is I understand how we learn from learning from the best guys in the industry, in the world on how we learn. And that's why I'm so thankful for golf about, um, I would say over the last 10 years. And, you know, when I used to teach and I, you know, I used to give everybody a, a note card when they're done and I'd write three to five things on to, to practice and remember. So it's funny. I look back and I'm like, oh man, I was way ahead of the times because they've done studies that show now that a golfer loses 80% basically when he walks out the door of your lesson and 90% within an hour is forgotten. So I send out videos always showing the drills, having me do it so they can mimic it, my students. And then also just to remember it. So um, we figured out a lot of things back then coaches. So it's not to say like back then, Oh, you guys didn't have this. You didn't have that. You guys just absolutely sucked. <laughs> you know, it, we, we figured things out. Yes. We, do we not know some truths? We didn't but we figured out how to make them work for people. Okay. Um, now I'd say everybody who's decided to embrace and learn technology and bio, the biomechanics, you know, I would say everybody has decided to invest in that. And then also where I've spent most of my time in these last three or four years is how we learn. Okay. It's not a simple, Oh, muscle memory. If I just hit thousand balls a day, it, it's so far from that. Okay. And I think what my students that improve love so much about my system is commit to 10 to 15 minutes a day and you can have it. And that's what I'm going to commit to. That's it. I'm not going to spend any more. I don't have any time to do it. Okay. So I always talk about rotation being huge, right? Always. That's, that's what the big thing is. Okay. So I'm going to show you how we're going to approach this. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see, yeah, you guys won't probably be able to see this, but here's a laser you guys can use. Or you can use something like, I think I'll show you with this. A lot of times I'll use this to practice this golf club right here. Um, I'll put an alignment stick in my club if you really like to take a beating. <laughs> or uh, TRSs are great, tour rotation sticks. If you want one, go to my website because you'll get a good discount on buying them. I don't get anything for it, it's just helping you guys out. So, okay. Um, uh, it's under gear, ejsgolf.com slash gear or gears. Check out, just go to ejsgolf.com and you'll see the tab up top. So I'm going to put this about, let's just say about, I'm, I'm limited on room. So I'm going to actually put it right about here. And I'm going to say about four feet away. Okay. Not exact. I have 11 shoe. Okay. So we're going to go about here. Now, I want to trace this is what I'm trying to do. I think I'll move this up here so we can see this better this way. I'll do this and I'll put this here. Okay, so what I want to do, so this is my setup here. This is my initial start, what I'm doing, okay? Yes. Okay. I want to trace that stick on the ground with first this end, okay? And when I come through, I'll trace it on the back end with this coming through, okay? Tracing it. So what do we do? I, I need to get a big wind up with my hips, so I'm tracing it, tracing it. 
Hips are getting wound up. I'm getting wound up. I feel pressure on the inside of my trail foot. Okay, so I'm in the toe on my left. I haven't shifted. I got a mirror right off me. I've maybe moved this much. Guys, you got it. Guys and girls, feedback. I have a mirror. Sometimes you probably wonder what I'm looking at, but I have mirrors here, mirrors here. Because I want to know when I did this, where am I? Did I go like this? Did I do this? Did I stand up? Where am I? So I go here. I'm on it. Now, transition move, okay? So my right butt cheeks is against this, right? I'm going to move into my left toe at the same time. See what I did? So I keep my right butt cheek against the pool noodle, okay? And I get my left one against it too as I open the shoulders to the hair, okay? Now I have weight move, started moving back to my heel. It's gonna help me push up and open my hips even more. But you can see I pushed back, I got to here. We kind of gain more flexion here. So if you look at here, I come up here, I've lost all my bend. Now I got it back. So I start with bend right here, right? Now when I go to the top, I lose it. I don't have, I don't, I may have a few degrees, right? Now in transition, look how I gained it back. So you wanna feel it right in here. If I put a ball in here, it'd be like kind of crushing it, okay? So I'm gonna perform these daily. And I'll go like this. Um, 15 minutes worth daily, okay? That is gonna be my first step of getting the body moving correctly, okay? Um, and I'm gonna do it daily, because that's the key, okay? And then during this time, I'm gonna have you know mirrors and video, and I'm gonna check it to see how I'm doing. It's crucial that I'm moving up here. When I do this, that I'm getting in a position here that I get here. Because in my golf swing now, what you'll see is this. You'll see my hips are cleared maybe a little bit. My shoulders are almost still closed. So what I do is I go really fast. I have a little bit of shuffling, but it's like the arms just go, I pull down like this, really hard like that. So look at the shoulders are still like closed to the right. That'd be my swing. It's like I go up here and it's like this. Real pull down. I did that off the. Um, <laughs> that's how long I haven't hit one in in a while, especially like that, which is awesome. So also, I'm gonna do that. That's that's gonna be one of the main ones. Now let's talk about what it looks like to be in a good position at impact. Okay. And many of you have seen me do this before. Okay. So I'm gonna get standing straight up. Get my feet about where I think I'd want them, right? Knees are locked, basically. Now, I'm looking in the mirror, so <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm standing straight. Now, I'm going to just turn my hips and upper body kind of as much as I can go. I'm not that limber, guys. So what I'm not doing is this. I'm watching the mirror. I have lines on the mirror to make sure this hip and everything stay here. I'm not going out here. I'm driving pressure into my trail heel. Hips are not going out that way, or I'm not going out this way on the side of my foot, okay? So staying up straight, just turning. And I'm a bit of a duck. I like to be a duck for me. I need the help, okay? Now, we're going to go down to impact. So if I go here, I'm, I, I said impact. I take that back. I'm sorry. Top of the swing here. So we, P4 would be about here. So if I put my arms up here now, what would, what would you think about that position, folks? Would you like that to be able to then go right here and then look at that? So that's a, another part of the drill I'm doing is that just getting here, getting that position at the top of the swing and then real slow coming down to impact to feel it. Always with that feeling of that trace. So I have to trace back here. I have to trace back here. Now, me, you're gonna find that you probably go real high with your right shoulder or something. You know, that's gonna throw the club out a lot, especially if you just twist your hips without moving left at all, okay? We gotta get into this left side, so we are always, able to hit in front, okay, of the ball. Got our low point up front. So for me, that is step one. I'm going to follow what I teach, okay? I'm going to show the drill. Now, obviously, I'm not going to have to do every single drill I teach because I, there's going to be some that work for me and some that don't work as well. So that's why I know and use so many different drills because it's – if I ask you to do this certain drill um, and it, it's just not working, which I can tell pretty quick, I switched around possibly to new arm. I mean, it's, it's, and it's, you'd be surprised how kind of rare it is that someone like just is like, oh, just terrible on certain drill. And then you switch to another one. It's like, great. It's like, you know, they're all with athleticism. You pretty much do any drill put in front of you. If there's more of a challenge because of injury or someone with athleticism, then we're talking about something a little different. Okay. 
So, um, you know, the other thing is thinking about what is impact look like, okay? And this is for those of you that maybe are close to beginners or whatever that don't understand what impact is. So, and I think it's good to work on it, okay? Just to know. So if I'm here, this is what most people, I ask most people what impact looks, they go, um, this maybe? And that's really what they get to from the top. Because if you come down here and you just try to close your club face like this, you end up looking just like you did um, at, at a dress. So if we go here, I like to kind of do this. Turn, I'm pushing my left hip kind of deep behind me like that, right? Here, here. And I'll put that about right here. And my head would be about like this. What do you think about that for an impact, folks? Would you like that? If you came in like that, and then you'd travel like this. So I would be. Look at that club stability. That's why I want to do it. So what I hate about my golf swing looking at is when you look at it from that point of view, right where, where you're at, you'll see a lot. I got I use different club because this will hit me. So this won't allow me to do the wrong that club. Um, let me grab this one. I'm not short on clubs in here, that's for sure. Um, so this is one <laughs> what I hate. So you guys can watch this and look forward to see what I've done once we start really getting swings. If you look at my swing, you're going to see this a lot. Okay, see how the – it's not that I'm rolling over. It's like look at the butt is right here. The club head's up there. I'm swinging so inside out. I'm not going like this or anything like that. It's just a matter of the club's coming here. And the butt's up here. So what do I want from the same club? What do I want it to look like? What do I want you guys to see? If I go kind of back to that impact position, let's say I'm here. Impact. Here to here. So let me show you. Just look at that difference again. So you see the hands exit left. And the club that stays out there. It's the same thing. This is probably, you know, a drill that you'll see that I have my students do, but you'll see is one of the drills we'll be doing during this learning time is this, this. Look how the club head stays out here. My hands are left, okay? So that's something after I work on the body move for at least a week till I feel super, super comfortable uh, doing it at speed, then I'll move on, okay? I'm not going to add any other stuff. I'm not in a rush to go anywhere because here's the thing, folks. I talk to my students about this so often, and... I wish I could get it across to more. If you think about this, say you are, um, I don't know, say, you, say you're even 51 my age. What is the difference if it takes me right now um, a month? Okay, instead of getting here right now and just starting to say, okay, I'm gonna work on my swing, just, just start swinging away, swinging away. Instead of building a plan and saying, you know what, I, for, I'm gonna build this thing over time. I have my four phases basically. And I'm going to move on. I, I don't know that it's going to guarantee to stay on that. I don't know. Things happen in golf. They always change. Like people ask me all the time in my long-term programs that are with me for six months to a year or online programs, like, oh, can you write me out basically a manual of where we're going to be along each week? Well, no, I can't. I wish I could. That would make my job really easy. But I can't because everybody everybody's different. You may not succeed that one week as well as you did another, with other stuff. And here's another thing I've learned um, over the years. Everybody has a point that is very troublesome for them. Okay. So let's say, you know, we're learning this swing, everything's going great, but that we find this fault that is just really hard for somebody to work out of their swing where everything else they work out easy. Okay. It's just like, oh, okay, I just got to work on it a little bit. And they spend a couple days on it or whatever and they worked it out. So there's, oh, I found out with everybody, there's always something that is way more difficult though. Everything's moving along week, 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 or making huge changes and then shoop, it kind of stops. And I think to me as a coach, I think it's awesome. Not that somebody's going through that. I don't like anybody to struggle. I, I, I don't. And that's why I make a guarantee you'll get better in your first lesson because I don't want anybody to struggle. But in these long-term programs, that struggle is the best time for us to learn so much about ourselves as golfers and as human beings that when we come out of that, if you come out the right way by doing things the right way, you're going to be the best golfer that you've ever been. Okay. Now, if you don't come out of something bad and you're just the same as before about a player, you didn't come out, you didn't do the right things when you came to come out of it. Okay. Because you should be a much better golfer. So let's say you have the shanks or something. And if you go through trouble with them, if you don't come out on the other side, a way better golfer, then something went wrong. 
you did not do, you didn't do the right things you needed to. Because if you think about it, like somebody who shanks a lot, you know, it's basically they, they're doing my swing. A lot of in to out, the hand path gets out here. So, you know, they probably would have, if they, you would have, shanks probably need to work on staying back, right? Not doing this, which pushes the club out. So think about if I had worked on this, if I had the shanks, think how much better my game got because I got rid of this move, which helped throw my hands out. And now I'm more, <laughs> so think about the changes that can be made. So just want to give you some encouragement. Um, so, hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I think you can learn a lot from this series on how to do it. And leave a comment below if you want some help with any of these going through a series. Do it with me. And uh, I'll help you get through some of it. So um, we can kind of talk about it as we go. But this is going to be number one. You've got to learn how to move. And what this allows for, it's the coolest thing when you learn how to move your body well. You can go play golf whenever you want. Let's say you've taken a month off. You can go play. Now your touch may not be there. But you're just, your body's going to move fine. And you'll, just, you'll learn to get the club just in a decent position. It's the people that rely on their hand move. A lot of this movement, rotation like this, that struggle when they don't play. They have to hit hundreds and thousands of balls to get back to where they um, are hitting it well, because they're just relying so much on that rotation. Instead of somebody that relies on a beautiful like body move of like this, okay? Thank you for watching. Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf Academy.